hello you guys welcome to today's video my hair looks a mess this like portion right here will not stay down but um today i have a couple planters i need to do um i want to put two plants together which is going to be very difficult to be honest because the plant in question was actually just watered yesterday but this is the plant um, I want to put these two together because I recently got gifted a lot of plants. Um, Jimmy Gimbal here on YouTube uh, gifted me a lot of plants and I need to make some room for, you know, new plant designs and stuff. So yeah, I also wanted to talk about um, my, like, headspace when I go into designing with my plants. And so yeah, let's just get into it. We're going to combine these two right now. Let me get my setup ready and I'll be right back. Hey, hello guys, this, hello you guys, so this is me from the future, um, I am, I'm just making this to sort of like preface the fact that I'm no expert and this whole video is just mainly what I do, what works for me and what not works because I don't want to give the impression that there's a right or wrong to interior design, um, this is just my mindset and the way that I think when it comes to plant design. So yeah, don't come for me in the comments or, you know, ask for a degree because I definitely do not have one. But yeah, this is just to really give you guys an insight onto what I do for my plant design. And, you know, if you guys want to do something different, you know, it's all up to you. Um, so yeah, continue watching. So, yeah, here we are. Here's the Kokodama. I don't think that this string on here is going to be enough for all of it because this root system is huge. I'm hoping I don't run into any issues with, like, root rot and stuff. I don't think I will, but, you know, that's always a possibility. So, okay. So, of course, my cat decides to clean herself. Um... So yeah, here is this Kokodama. Um, I'm gonna explain what I'm gonna be doing and then we'll get into like the actual topic of the video. Okay, so this used to be one Kokodama and then I decided to split it. Um, there's actually two plants in here and then there's two plants in here, but I decided to split it when I wanted a climbing pothos. And, ooh, and I've honestly sort of gotten to experience like the big leaves and now I'm just like, I still enjoy this plant and I think that I will definitely do this again when um, I have a bigger space to work with. I will make a climbing photos, especially a Marble Queen. It just, I can't, I love, I think Marble Queen is one of my favorite pothos um, alongside with the Snow Queen. They're sort of the same thing, but um, yeah, so I just don't have the space for this. I have multiple plants that I've brought into my space that now I sort of need to figure out a space for and I'm not, I don't want to keep doubles of plants when I could just be putting them together. So we're going to make it into one big Kokodama and see how that goes for us. And so while I do this whole Kokodama thing, um, I'm going to be talking to you guys about how I display my plants and like how I create a vision or how I know what plant to put in, in something um and I just feel like it'd be interesting because I feel like I, a lot of my channel focus has become like plant design focused which I don't mind I love like interior design graphic design I'm all about that and so I just thought it would be fun to like give you guys some tips or like let you guys in on my mindset or like my vision when it comes to displaying with plants um it's not really a science or like anything particular that you need to apply um i think that if you like something you should go with it and if you don't like something then don't go with it it's kind of as simple as that um so yeah let's just get into the video before i start going off <laughs> what are my plant designs sprout from my style of interior design so i think that in order to fully understand what you're going for and again you don't have to do this like this it's not an exact science just go with what you feel looks good and everyone's 
uh, vision is going to be very different and subjective to what they like and what uh, interior styles they are going for. Um, I honestly don't even know my interior style. I feel like it's boho, but then it's like contemporary, but then it's just like a whole bunch of stuff mixed in together. I don't know. I really enjoy like organic shapes and organic materials. So like light wood, um, of course, plants and greenery, but yeah, a lot of natural materials and like soft linens, like my curtains are um, this like really light uh, beige color and they're cotton. So like a lot of soft things. So I kind of try to incorporate that with my plants like um my calathea which i can show you guys right now it's in this like wooden bowl this is like a natural material i feel like i just enjoy that a lot um and yeah i just kind of run with that to be honest i like again with going back to the organic shapes like with the calathea it's just like round it doesn't have corners you know very natural uh curves i guess and i just kind of run with that i think that's why i like the kokodama so much because they're just like um hold on there's roots growing over the string there we go um and yeah i don't really like any harsh like bright colors i feel like the only thing that i've had that's bright colored is that like one green pot that i used to have my what was it my monstera i don't remember what i had in it um but i haven't used it in a while and i feel like i will probably put up a picture of like a style that i really enjoy i don't know if it's better to like show you guys what i'm doing or show my face because i feel like what I'm doing has nothing to do with what I'm talking about, so maybe I shouldn't show that. But um, I think this angle will do a lot better. Um, I think that, okay, what is going on here? I am honestly so confused. Um, but yeah, I feel like understanding my style and things that I like helps me uh, be more artistic with my plants. Like um it can be something as simple as like the pot like this plant right here i love this pot i feel like it just fits the form of the plant so well and it just looks so like soft and cute like i don't know i don't know really how to describe it to you guys like it's again it's not an exact science it's just what i feel looks good so i think that you know if you like the way that something looks or if you if the display that the plant is in makes you feel happy about it and makes you want to take care of it because I feel like that's one thing that really like started my plant journey was just designing with them I feel like that's my way of just like I don't know how to explain it but I just I cannot I struggle to take care of plants if they don't look good and I think that like looking good doesn't always mean like this type of display looking good just means um and i explained this in my houseplant video too that to me looking good isn't just about um like literally the plant in like this expensive pot or whatever um it's just about you know something that took time to curate something that took um artistic uh creation and just like thought with it like um recently i'm actually going to show you guys this oh. recently i put my black velvets in this cute little pot it's a little vessel and it is so freaking cute like i have never seen a vessel like this and it's just really like different and i think that's that's one thing that really goes along with everything that i do is just different and it's whether it's like differently shaped or uh brings your attention to a different uh spot that you wouldn't normally you know your attention normally wouldn't be pulled to that's another thing and aside from like literally the display of the plant like when you take it when you 
like where you also have to think about where it's going to go and what's going to be what its surroundings are going to be like and what else might pull your eyes attention um one thing that is good is to display in odd numbers so if you're gonna put your plant like i will have little like islands of like where i put my plant i don't like to say islands but it's just like little groupings of plants on certain areas on my desk so like in my cloche i have a string of hearts in this little tiny vessel i have my alocasias in this in the pot that i just showed you and then i have them on stair in the back it's three plants and then in front of that I have three crystals and I have like a, those three crystals on a little pedestal and then below that I have three more crystals so it's all about odd numbers and also um, height differences getting plants that have what I like to do is start with the tallest in the back and then shorter in front and then shortest right in front of that so the flow of like your eyes going down so it just feels very natural and very soft like it's not hectic or like your eyes don't know where to look that can happen too even if you do like um a plant design and like and you still use odd numbers that can still happen like it can be too hectic or sometimes even the the sizing is off another thing that i've noticed is that plant design is very very much about well not just specifically plant design but um any like interior design is just really about balancing out your space um and your eyes and what your eyes see you just it's really all about balance and um what i mean by that is like putting um let's say i put like for my el choco for example let's say i put it in this big pot and it's already a big plant okay so let's say if i were to put it on a literal scale my el choco's like they're right next to each other okay so my el choco is in this big pot it's a tall plant and then we put this tiny little rock right next to it that is like this is gonna outweigh this way more visually to your eye it's gonna be way more heavy on the right side where the choco is than versus where this little rock is so what you can do to balance out like let's say you do want to use something small like this um what i would what i usually do is use numbers so i will add more of like little stuff below not like small stuff like this because you still really want to drag the eye down so i think what i would do was like have the giant old choco in the back of this this and then this little rock here so it just slowly drags your eye down and um proportions definitely also plays a lot like i feel like in that instance it doesn't really matter as much i think i'd have to literally see it to judge if it mattered as much but um but it's all about um balance and proportions uh portioning out stuff is sort of more on the simple side there is so much sphagnum in here, so I'm going to undo this and then I'm, I will come back and we will talk a little bit more because right now I can't really focus on both things. Okay, so my cat is sitting right in front of the camera. I don't know if this is bothersome, but I just think it's so cute. Like, she just loves to sit right where the camera is. It's so funny because my boyfriend will always say that she's not photogenic. Lila. My boyfriend always says that she's not photogenic because she looks a lot bigger than she actually is. Like, she really is not that big. She's a very small cat. And I don't think even if I picked her up, she's going to hate this because she just flopped. But she looks like a full-grown cat. But half the people, when they see her, they're just like, she's so tiny. No, 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 no. Stay back there. Um... But yeah, I just wanted to, I got most of it off, I'm still working on it, but um, yeah, I just wanted to continue the talk. Um, I feel like um, plant design shouldn't really be, like, don't overthink designing with your plants. I feel like um, I tend to do that a lot because I get stressed that, you know, I'm not going to take care of it and if it doesn't look good, it's going to, you know... I'm not going to take care of it and it's just going to be, 
you know, left there to die. And it's like, it's, it shouldn't die <laughs> because I don't want to take care of it because it doesn't look good. Um, and that's not to say that I don't take care of plants that I just don't think look good. Like I've been taking care of like my aguanema and my scandapsis, which I don't really enjoy right now. Um, but yeah, I've been taking care of them. It's just about like, I feel like the one thing that started my like plant journey was wanting not necessarily my plant journey but just like designing with plants the one thing that made me want to really start paying attention to detail with my plants is the fact that i want my space to feel peaceful and just like bliss if that makes sense like just i want the space to be just as welcoming and as open and as just I just want it to feel nice because, um, well, one, as a kid, I, I sort of had a hectic um, household, I guess. Like, I, I never had my own space. Um, it was always shared or, you know, it was always just one little corner in the room. So, oh my god, these roots are so tangled. So, when I got the opportunity or, like, the- when I got my own space, I just sort of went ham on like decorating and you know interior design because I feel like that's what that's just it makes my space feel peaceful and it makes me want to be in my space all the time so which by the way I am a majority of the time I'm in here doing something or you know on my laptop or watching something it's just like it literally just feels like peacefulness and like it feels like a home it feels like a place where I can just come in and wind, which is the reason why I feel like my plants, which I feel like my plants play a giant role in that because it's just like my space is just like my safe space. And I've, I feel like I've curated that with plants and just like design both mixed together. And I just love that. And, you know, I hope that you know this will help you guys create that space for you guys because even if you're living in like a hectic space or you just don't have the resources or whatever to make your space a home you know at least you can do that with you know whatever you have it doesn't even have to be like something expensive like designing it with like a light on top or like you know it can literally just be as simple as the pot which i feel like just putting the time and effort into your plants and your space just makes it all the more worth it because it just like comes right back at you and it just creates such a peaceful well-rounded space for you and like it just like i feel like this also has a lot a lot to do with mental health i feel like if um if my space was hectic or like i had you know random stuff all over the place but yeah i Actually, I just recently posted a video on, like, my space being overwhelming and just, like, if my space is not clean or if I have too much going on in my space, I will literally, like, I don't want to say freak, but, like, it just makes me stress so much. Like, not even stress, but, like, my brain just cannot function and it just feels way too hectic way too okay just kidding i'm not gonna deal with this right now because this plant has root rot yay oh my god what a fun time okay so i think i'm just gonna stick this in all of the sphagnum so that it stays a little bit moist um so yeah, I'm gonna deal with this later. I think I'm just gonna finish up this video and I'm gonna... Awesome. And I'm gonna do this um, off camera. Okay, so yeah, I feel like that's where my like passion for like designing with my plants comes from. It's just not always having a peaceful space when I was a child and now you know, it's sprouted into like, <laughs> just like designing my own space. Um, but I just really love doing it with plants. And 
I don't want to put this video out there for it to overwhelm you guys or just make you overthink about your space. If you like something, if you like how it looks, if it makes you feel good, if it feels like home because of that, or if that just feeds into it feeling like home, then do it. Like, like granted, don't let me stop you. Um, like, even here, I'm gonna pull this plant and you will see. Oh. I've had my Adansonia in this random pot. This is from a pot here uh, locally to me. And I just, I love how cute this looks. Like, look at it. It's just like, just because of the pot. Like, I feel like if I put it in any other pot, it's it still look good. But like, I know it does well in this pot. I know, see like the roots are already growing out like crazy. Um, it has like a little thing down there. I just... I love how this plant thrives in here it just like elevates it and like it's just a pot like I didn't have to do anything crazy I didn't have to do you know go buy all this stuff to make a very complicated design um so yeah it's as simple as the pot and yeah I really hope that this video is helpful to you guys in some way I don't want this to bring any stress to your um space or make you you know rethink what you put your plants in because if it makes you feel good if it if it makes you feel good and if it gives if it brings life to your space that's all that really matters and don't let you know me stop you from you know continuing to leave it the way that it is um so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this the next video will be um you know me designing with plants and you know it'll let you in on my creative process which isn't really a process it's literally just oh i think this will look good and then i put it together but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this um and yeah let me know if you guys want to see more or if you guys are more interested in my design process i guess it's not even a process i just don't know what to call it like the way that i design with my plants i guess it's not a process but yeah, let me know if you guys are interested in more of these types of videos. I feel like they do a lot better on my channel than like my plant chores. And so, so yeah, let me know if you guys enjoy this and I hope you enjoyed. And let me know down below like what you guys like to design with or any like organic materials that you have started involving in your plant space. I feel like one thing that I've been wanting to do is involve a lot more like natural branches and like organic branches of wood um i tried to do that with my micans i think that was on my channel um and it ended it ended up rotting so i still am like creeping my way into that like getting cork bark and just like terrarium wood and trying to use it for my plants and i think you know we're gonna creep our way up there but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching